first thing is this. When you hear about teachers for Tanzania, of course, you might think, you know, it's a trip to Africa. Which you shouldn't be thinking. I worked, I worked, I worked. I worked like crazy where I would come home and pass out. Scrubbed all their bed frames, their walls. Every day, feeding them three square meals and snacks. Tutoring was 30 minutes to an hour every single day at the Kido Timo Center. Rebuild and rejuvenate a reserve water tank. We changed the mattresses, we changed mosquito nets, uh, put in cupboards and dressers into the dorms. Planting seeds, doing a garden that's going to thrive and survive. There was a nest of uh, hornets in the girls' dorm, so we had to clear all of that out. Bringing livestock in here, so chickens, and then bringing the chickens' feed, keeping the chickens in their coop, um, and having them lay eggs. It was an amazing experience to go to the market and actually buy live chickens myself, tie them up by the feet, bring them back to the Kititimo Center, um, and actually slaughter them, make them halal for the children. You know, you hear stories from alumni, you hear stories from Dr. Allen, all this advice that they give you, and you see pictures of the kids, and you see pictures of the center, but you really don't know until you're here. I came on this trip knowing off the bat that it would be a work trip and not a vacation, but very little can prepare you for actually experiencing what you will encounter when you're on the ground here. And this is not a vacation, it's a work project. What we're doing here, it's just inspiring and it's, it's changed my life completely. I would do this all over again, it's not even a question.